Hello everyone and welcome, welcome. Today we'll be checking out Ninja deck in Historic. So, Ninja is a bit of a weird archetype compared to another Demir Temple deck that already exists in Historic, which happens to be the Rogues. Because instead of holding on to mana early to flash in creatures or use that mana to counter a spell, ninjas have to commit mana on your own turn early to play out your creatures. For example, on turn 1 we play a creature, and turn 2 we ninjutsu to get value off of creatures such as Ingenious Infiltrator here. So to offset that, we have a new ninja called Prosperous Thief. This is a new card from Kamigawa Neon Dynasty. When you ninjutsu with this card, you can create a treasure token. Whenever one or more ninja or rogue creatures you control deals combat damage to a player, you create a treasure token. Then you can use the treasure token to hold up cards like Fatal Push or Spell Pierce or even be able to toss these after combat. And other ways to cheat mana in our deck other than the treasures happens to be a lord as well. It's called Silverfur Master. 2 mana 2 2 rat ninja that lets you also ninjutsu for 2 demeanor colors letting you lessen the cost of ninjutsu ability you activate by 1 and making other ninja and rogue creatures you control get plus 1 plus 1. So what's really neat about this card is you can just play this card out on turn 2 without having to ninjutsu but what you can do is also sneak in some damage pumping all your ninjas and rogues during combat. So you do have two choices there, and don't be afraid to just play out this card as a creature. Just because it has ninjutsu in the card text doesn't mean that you have to commit to using ninjutsu ability all the time because you can get in there for more damage if you just play this card out. And as for disruption spells, we are playing four copies of Lofty Denial, two copies of Drown in the Lock, two copies of Spell Pierce, four copies of Fatal Push, and three copies of Thoughtseize. But we are also playing three copies of this ninja here. That is also a form of disruption itself. This is another new card from Kamigawa called Biting Palm Ninja for three mana ninjutsu. This creature gets mana counter when it comes down to the battlefield and you can remove that counter to look at your opponent's hand and exile a card from it, which is really cool. And again, we are playing two copies of Drowned Lock. And that's one of the reasons why we're playing Merfolk Wind Robber, which happens to be also flying and letting you activate Lofty Denial as well. So Merfolk Wind Robber is activating both Lofty Denial and Drowned in the Lock. So maybe if you think Spell Pierce isn't working for you, then you can substitute the two Spell Pierces for two copies of Merfolk Wind Robber. And of course, four copies of Ornithopter here which is also flying, activating Lofty Denial. And because this happens to be a zero mana spell as well, you can ninjutsu the Ornithopter that's attacking. And then after that, you can play Ornithopter for zero mana, letting you use the Ornithopter again for the next turn or another ninja card. And lastly, I've talked about briefly, we play Ingenious Infiltrator as a source of our try engine. And we are playing three copies of Ninja Planeswalker Kaito Shizuki that allows you to draw when you plus one with him if you attacked with a creature to start. But what's really neat here is that even if we play this card out on turn three without any creatures on the board, you can just minus two and create a ninja and the planeswalker phases out at the end of the turn according to the passive of this planeswalker. So your opponent can't deal with this card until the next, next turn. Meaning you'll at least get a card back out of using the plus one ability on the following turn when you attack with the ninja. However, having said all this, again, the glaring weakness of the ninja deck is that it is trying to be a tempo deck, but you're tapping out every single turn on your main phase, so I don't know if the deck will work out. So I'm going to give this deck a solid try and unrank to test out the deck to see whether or not this archetype has any potential in historic meta. And that's all I got to say about the deck. And as always, if you like the deck, leave a thumbs up. And, and if you have any questions, leave a comment as well. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I really appreciate if you did. And let's see if ninjas are actually a thing. Okay, this is kind of sick. I just get another land.
I'll play out the Long Ornithopter because I can Thought Season and keep up a Spell Pierce next turn. Although I just kind of want to play this, right? Uh, it's another one of these decks. It's another one of these decks. Let's get rid of Trollosara. And we'll uh, Biting Palm Ninja the, the Johnny away. I mean, I could technically just spell pierce that as well. We'll have to see. So, attack. That's a really nice pickup. And then we can spell pierce the Ajani away. Hopefully they don't have anything. They just drew lands. Need some fatal push. Drown in the lock might be sick as well. Okay, Lofty Denial is very nice. Okay. So I think I I think I actually play the spell pierce out, right? We'll spell pierce this one and we'll leave up lofty denial for future creatures they draw. Okay, we got there. Um uh, it's not bad, but it's like not the best either. Yeah, at least I'm doing something. Let's attack first. Acre of Wellspring. I am so tempted to Thought Seize. Because what I could have done is I could have drawn Catacomb. No, no, I couldn't have. I couldn't have. Never mind. Never mind. Farewell. Devastating Mastery. Lot of six mana board wipes. So we need to get there as soon as possible. Ooh, that's actually a really... Really good draw. Divine Perch. Okay, we have to get there fast though. We have to get there fast. Um... No Am I interested in drawing? Yes. Draw a card. That is really good. That's four mana. Wait, what? They really do that? Kind of shocked. Hmm. Bet you can't catch us. 
interesting. We have to we have to be worried about worried about farewell here. That's the only card that I'm worried about. I don't care about this because um This doesn't really do anything. I think I should have just plussed actually. Faithful absence. Sure. Oh man. I think what needs to be done is this. Leave up two mana for Lofty Denial. Three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. I don't know. Should I let this go? Probably not, right? So let's say um they play farewell next turn. So I guess what I, what I could do is um play this out, get back the wind robber because of um this thing flies. Okay, we're drawing a lot of cards. We're just looking for land. We we did find land. Um, fatal push, fatal push. Halfway. You like that. Again, because their board wipe is six mana. Not really like sweating too much. Like, that was their entire turn. If the powerful won't help, I'll do it myself. <laughs> I've got all kinds of connections. Okay. Okay, so this is pretty cool. I can, um... Attack with you. Sure. And... Palm Ninja this thing. Take a look at their hand. Ooh, that's actually pretty good. Unless... Unless... Ninjutsu again. That thing fizzles. Pretty cool. Play the Ornithopter as a blocker. Vitalize, okay. Um, 
on a white um removal tribal just they, they use they use farewell to the devastating mastery they also had divine purge like look at that it's insane They could have another one. Dungeon Descent, okay. <laughs> We can just play these out. Cause we got we have to discard anyways. Unless they just top deck the board wipe, I think we have this. We drew half the deck, more than half the deck. Okay, that's kind of a tilt her. Um, can we window? I don't think so, right? Because, hmm. Can we? We can't, right? Where's our counter spell? Hello? Counter spells seems to be missing from the deck. Gideon, okay, that's your weapon. That's fine. Your they still die, ended. right? I do believe they just still die. So we have to send three here and then one here. And we're just going to ninjutsu with thousand face shadow. The one's gonna block here. Wait, this is a what? They're dead. 
If you do this, you're dead. You have to block this. Okay, sure. Bring the balance this guy. Back there. They're dead. GG's. Interesting. No disruption though. I don't know. This might be a really bad keep. Triple tap land. That sucks, but I think we keep that. Forest. An elf deck. It's an elf deck. Oh man. I'm not sure. Do I kill the Elvish Warmaster here? I would love to. I think we have to. Yeah, that was, um, that's the other card that I was, like, afraid of. Well, we are kind of screwed. Probably just this. I don't know. Can they play Crater Hoof next turn? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, hopefully, they don't like top deck. I hope they get another creature. That's the only way we're gonna get out of this. Please. <laughs> One, two, three, four. So what? So I got nine damage next turn. Oh no! Not another spell pierce. Not another spell pierce. That's not good. Can I still attack here? I get in there for one damage, like three damage. I don't think it's worth it. Oh, looks like we lost. I mean, maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah, it's actually not bad, actually. If they attack, we'll just double block the Elisir Shepherd. Not, like, too crazy. Interesting. So they attack with, um... Hmm, this is interesting. I take 13 damage. I go to 5. Here's six. Activate this. I get in there for nine damage. I have a blocker. Oh man, I don't know. 
if this is a block. I need three blockers. We'll attack with these. Have three blockers. This is so close. This is actually so close. I need, I need to land and we win. Come on, land and we win. No, it's a tap land. Oh no. Oh my god. That sucks. Okay. I'll keep. Blue white. I'm gonna need Jutsu for a treasure token so I can ramp. There is no way you play Containment Priest in your main deck. Oh my god, we're out of here. <laughs>